Hey boys and girls, I'm Rhino. Welcome to Le Chef Passu. Today we are making a chocolate covered peanut butter egg. Now we spend a lot of the year eating healthy and then we get to holidays and we just eat some of the worst foods. Now your snack, your candy, it doesn't have to be bad for you. This recipe will amaze you because it's really healthy and also really sweet and delicious and everything you'd want in a chocolate covered egg. And you can even get it delivered by a fluffy bunny on Easter. Wow. One day I'll know the truth about that. So when I was looking up recipes for all of this, I found a lot of things that contain just butter and oil. I don't want a recipe that's butter and oil. I want a recipe that is peanut butter. Urgh. But in order to make that peanut butter work, you, you have to get it to stick together. So the recipe that I found happens to be both vegan and gluten-free. What? Crazy. Just, just don't tell any of your friends that. Now here are some of the things we will not be using today. We are not going to use tertiary, a beautiful hydroquinone, um, polyglycerol, polyricinoleate, hydrogenated vegetable oil, or high fructose corn syrup, dextrose. And I know what you're thinking, Rhino, what are all of those things and why would you ever use them in your food? Boys and girls, <gasps> that's what Reese's peanut butter egg cups are made of. What? <laughs> You thought Hershey's used real chocolate? Oh my gosh. No. But I'm gonna use real chocolate and I'm very excited about it. So let's get this ball rolling. You are gonna need three quarters of a cup of rolled oats. Half a cup of dry roasted peanuts. Then you'll want half a cup of peanut butter. This is Laura Scudder's. I love their peanut butter. I've had it since I was an infant. It's easy to stir. I don't know why people are like, I need it pre-stirred. No, because I don't want glue in my peanut butter keeping it together. It's fine. I'll stir it. Don't you worry about it. Or I'll go to like Sprouts and get um, it ground right out of the machine. Ugh, I love it like that. It's great. And there's only two ingredients. Peanuts, salt, and just a pinch of salt. So if you have unsalted peanut butter, you can add a pinch of salt. And then you're going to use half a cup of that. That is going to make the body of our egg. Then to make it sweet, we'll use one tablespoon of coconut oil and one tablespoon of maple syrup. Coconut oil, ridiculously good for you. Maple syrup, this is real maple syrup, people. It has one ingredient, maple syrup. You go to a tree, you stick a pole in it, maple syrup comes out. I don't know why these Aunt Jemima people are like, let's get high fructose corn syrup and call it maple. No real maple syrup. If you don't remember the benefits of high fructose corn syrup, feel free to review my carb lesson that we did last week. Ah, yeah, yeah. So put all of that into your food processor, blend it up. Now I know what you're thinking, Ryan, this is a long list of ingredients, but your food processor will make your life so easy. You can use your spatula in the food processor to make sure you tuck it all down and it all gets nicely stirred. Then you'll put them into egg shapes on a baking sheet on a plate because my freezer is not big enough for a whole baking sheet and I don't really have a proper one anyway. You'll put it in your freezer for 20 minutes. During the latter half of those 20 minutes, you'll make a double broiler for your chocolate. My double broiler, totally ghetto. It's basically my rice cooker on top of a pot. The pot has one to two inches of water that's going to simmer, make the rice cooker portion hot, and then I'll put three quarters of a cup of chocolate chips in there. You can use whichever chocolate chips you like but do read the ingredients. It should be chocolate. <laughs> yeah, now you don't need baking chocolate. Chocolate chips have some sugar in them because straight up baking chocolate is very bitter. So you don't have to use baking chocolate. Chocolate chips will be totally fine. But control we're controlling the amount of sugar we have in our meal, mind you. Then roll all of your little peanut butter eggs in the chocolate, toss them over with a fork, if it starts to get difficult, just use a spatula. All that chocolate off the side and drizzle it over that egg. You want the egg to have one full coat. Then you'll put them in the freezer for 10 minutes. Now, you could, if you really want them very chocolatey, wait till they freeze and do the chocolate portion all over again and have a double shell. I don't need that. I think there's plenty of chocolate in it. 
And there you have it, a chocolate covered peanut butter egg. I'm super excited about this. It is going to be amazing. Good luck. You're gonna love it too. Thanks for watching the Chef Prasu. Don't forget to subscribe and enjoy your Easter.